Once upon a time, there lived a girl called Nkoni and her husband, Enebuse. They were newly married and had not yet started giving birth to children. On the same street with them lived an old woman. The woman was called Nemuku. She was very old and had no child of her own. Everyone kept away from her because they thought she was evil due to the way she looked. The old woman was always hungry and had no one to give her money or food. People would often snare at her and run away from her whenever she was returning from the farm with firewood for cooking on her head. Every day she walked past to the farm and came back in her way of moving. But one day, when Konye did not see the old woman pass, she had not seen her pass for several days, so she decided to check upon the woman. She decided to check on her. She went to her house to look for her. There, she found the old woman in her room, very ill and on a mat. Nemuku, she called, what's wrong with you? I've not seen you come out of your house for several days now, she asked, feeling the old woman's temperature. The woman was terribly ill. Quickly, Nkonyi searched around, looked for leaves that would calm down her temperature and mixed them and gave her to drink. From that day on, Nkonyi started to nurse the old woman. She nursed her until she regained her health, and the woman never played with Nkonyi from that day. So, Nkonyi decided that she would not allow her to suffer again. So, whenever Nkonyi cooked, she would carry food to her. She always helped her to also wash her clothes and clean the house. But one day, her husband in Ebuse told her to stop doing all that. Stop helping the old woman because people will think that you are evil like her. I ban you from going to her house anymore. I forbid you. But Nkonye will not accept that. Nkonye felt pity for her. And after spending some time with the old woman, Nkonye discovered that the old woman was a very kind one. She had helped so many people, members of her family and people in the village when she was younger. But as she grew older, they ran away from her and refused to help her. Nkonye was touched by it all, all the story the old woman told her, and decided to help the woman from that day on. No matter what happened, ah, she thought, how can people judge someone by their looks? Eh? How can? She asked in anger. But that did not go down well with her husband, and he would say, Enebuse warned her severally not to go to the old woman's house again. Don't go to Nemuku's house. That will cause problems between us. And if you are not careful, I will drive you out of my house to your parents' house. Then one day he was alone in the house, soliloquizing. How can my own wife refuse to obey me? She must leave my house because I will not allow the villagers to associate my family with that old witch. He muttered angrily to himself. And he said, thought so highly of himself. Thus, he went to report on Konye to her parents. They tried to talk him out of it so that he would allow Konye to help the old man because Konye was always helpful to people. But Enibuse would not agree. Three weeks later, Enibuse drove Konye out of his home and broke up the marriage. Nkonyi went back to her parents' home in tears. Her parents welcomed her back and encouraged her not to be worried. But she should keep on helping the old woman if she wanted to. And so Nkonyi started living with her parents. Nkonyi did not relent her efforts to help the old woman in Nemuku. For several years, Nkonyi cared for her. She would fetch water for her to bathe. She would cook, sing with the old woman. She put a smile on the old woman's face. She helped the woman to be happy. Sometimes she would take the woman to their house. And that was how things went until the old woman passed on. But before Nemuku passed on, she blessed Nkonyi and told her that a good man, better than the one she had married before, Nemuku would come and look for her and marry her. And she would never suffer. 
for being good to her in her life, she will always reap the fruits of her labor. So, for standing by her at the detriment of her marriage, that she will never suffer. So, the woman died and Nkonye felt empty at the loss of the woman. The house of the old woman remained like that, lonely for years. But two years after Nemuku died, a wealthy young man came to seek for Nkonye's hand in marriage and she accepted. After the marriage, Nkonye had two sons and became the richest woman in the entire kingdom. Her husband loved and doted on her. Everyone knew that the old woman had blessed her and they regretted what they had done to the old man and they started talking about the, count, the good countless signs the woman had helped them. They started recounting the goodness of the old woman, what she had done when she was young to many of their family people. She, when she was alive, they never knew her importance until she died. Nkonye's ex-husband regretted pursuing Nkonye out of his house because the wife he later married gave birth to seven daughters and no son, which was very important in the African society at that time. She abused her out of enables almost every day and made him uncomfortable. That is why it is good to help others and cherish what you have when you have them. Because you never know where your blessings will come from. That's the end of the story. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel to make me happy and let YouTube pump out my videos much. Thanks for watching.